Ottawa Hills Local Schools has a new leader, Adam Fineski, accepting the position as superintendent and will start his new role August 1st. Sharice Thompson spoke with Fineski one on one today about this new role and his plans for the district. She's live in studio with the details. Sharice. And Joel Fineski says he's honored and humbled to have been selected for this role, a job that comes with having to make some tough decisions at times. The vote to hire Fineski was unanimous. When Dr. Adam Fineski takes over as superintendent of Ottawa Hills Local Schools, he'll be leading one of the highest performing districts in the state of Ohio and the country. Ottawa Hills ranks number five in the state. Nationwide is in the top 1%. To have the opportunity and to be selected for this um, is just an honor. Fineski is the current superintendent of Savannah Schools, where he served for 19 years. As incoming superintendent of Ottawa Hills, Fineski plans to take the district to new heights by working together. I think we can do that by uh, working collaboratively as a school district where everyone has a seat at the table. Um, teachers are involved in the leadership, the administrators, the parents, the community partners, the students are all involved in working together to run the district. Vineski replaces current superintendent Kevin Miller, who announced his resignation in February. Miller will serve as the director of government relations for the Buckeye Association of School Administrators, where he'll focus on state legislation affecting Ohio's public schools. As for Vineski, he's ready to get to work. To challenge and inspire all students to work to their unique potential uh, to really achieve success be lifelong learners and engaged citizens is a big part of the Ottawa Hills mission and I couldn't be more excited to being part of that. Fineski's contract with the district is for three years. Sylvania Schools is starting to look for a new superintendent to replace Fineski once he leaves and we're told an executive meeting to start that process will take place on Tuesday. Reporting in the studio, Sharice Thompson, WTOL 11.